Hey everyone, uh, Spixcalibur123 here. Uh, I'm going to be doing just a little tutorial on a program called Pokesave. Uh, this is a editing program for uh, mainly Pokemon uh, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, and, and Heart Gold, Soul, Silver. Um, this is the Diamond Pearl version. You know, it has all the options available here. Um, Platinum and like HGSS don't have all of these options either. Not there, or they're not even applicable. Okay, so um, just going to show you some of the basics here. Uh, so when you open up the program, you'll see this whole screen, a lot of stuff on it. Um, you will probably need a some sort of card like a Cycle DS, like an R4 or whatever, many other cards out there uh, to, you know, get the save files out, and then you can edit them, you know, move them onto your computer and then edit them as you want. So you just open up the file right here, and then all your information sort of like auto-populates. Okay, so here, um, we're going to start up here. This is your ID, secret ID is actually something you don't see, it's a random number. Uh, this is the avatar you will have when you go into like, you know, you know trading rooms, battles, etc. Uh, your play times here, whenever you're, when you started the game. Um, the save file size should be 512, I think it's defaulted on that. Um, reverting to original basically just reverts all your changes, so if you make mistakes you can always do this. Uh, obviously saving changes here, and then this stuff I don't really use. So this area here is actually interesting. You can actually edit pretty much anything you want. Um, you know, here's all the different categories of items. You can have either a, a number of all of these, like say this is you know almost like you know 990 whatever of every item, or you can just edit individual items. So let's say you go into the item area, and then you can choose pretty much any item you want. Uh, you know, you scroll down the list of items, and let's just take like a a big pearl, and then if you want to have like two of them, you just put whatever, however many you want, and then just click modify to put the item in there, and then you can modify the items, change however many items, and then or just delete them if you put the wrong item in there, and obviously you save your changes by clicking OK. And you can do the same thing with like you know your medicines, you know all your items there, uh, pokeballs. You know if you can choose whatever pokeballs you want, modify however many you want. Uh, TMs, you can do the same thing. You know the whole list of them. So and then berries and all that other stuff you can edit. Uh, this area here, the key items, um, this is mostly items you get throughout the game, like scenario items. Um, you probably won't need to touch this that much. Most of these are like, you know, one-time use anyway, or you get them throughout the game. Some of these items, like these two items, for example, are like Nintendo Wi-Fi event items. Um, if you put them in from here, it actually doesn't work. Um, I'll show you how to get them in so that they do work. Uh, Pokedex, you can label it as complete, whatever. And um, this tab here is interesting, uh, events. So if you open it, you get this window here. This has a like, um, few things. So starting down here is like your roaming Pokemon. So if you have, like say, Cresselia or uh, uh, Mesprit or any other uh, Pokemon that roam like in the, you know, throughout the world, and then you can, you know, once you encounter them, I believe that's when you can actually see their stats and all that. Uh, this does apply to other Pokemon who, you know, kind of roam randomly, but I think you have to encounter it first for it to show up. Uh, league badges, you know, whatever badges you've gotten. Uh, daytime or daycare egg, uh, whatever that is. And uh, this tab here, the event flags, is, you know, as you play through the game, you unlock certain events. Uh, let's just say these for simplicity. Um, you know, you'll probably encounter these three. I think a check means that it's done. I don't know what this means, if it's a half, like a shaded check. Um, but if you say knock it out accidentally, I think you can uncheck it, and I think it will appear there, give you another chance to try to catch it. 
Uh, this tab here, the mystery gift tab, this is the interesting one here. Um, so to enable it in the game, at least for uh, Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, you just go to uh, Jubilife City. Um, I don't know, remember where it is, but there's one guy who will ask you to say some phrases for him. Uh, it's something like everyone happy, and then you say like Wi-Fi connection. Um, you can look it up on the exact phrase. Um, but once you get the right phrase in, he will unlock the mystery gift for you. I think at Heart Gold, Soul, Silver, it's already there for you. Uh, so whenever you get that enabled, um, this area here is the one you'll be focusing on. This stuff here is kind of, you know, you don't really need to worry about it. Uh, here you can enable the gift, and then you can put whatever item you want. So if you want to find, say, you know, Dark Rye, you put the member card in, and then um, if you want to get another item, you can actually select multiple slots to put other gifts in, or put a different item here. Um, but see how you can... You know, you have more than one item here. And then all you do is just go to any poke art and talk to... There's a guy in a green suit who will give you all the items that are in here. So, um, that makes it easy to get, you know, to kind of test out some of these items. Because, again, a lot of these items are like Wi-Fi event items, and you couldn't, you couldn't really find them, you know, unless you somehow got that to the event and got the item out of there. So I kind of use that just to experiment, you know, if when I play through. Again, I've already beaten the game when I start even playing around with this program. Okay, so here you can have your name, rival's name, money score, you can edit that, gender of your character. And then this stuff here is just your underground stuff. So, you know, you can edit your items, what you find underground, goods, and then all that other stuff. And then here is like more of like Battle Frontier stuff, um, especially this one. You know, there's one trainer sort of like a hundred battles in a row, so you can edit that if you want to get the easy way out to that. Because you know, I mean, it can get annoying. It takes a lot of luck to get to that point. Um, you can do that if you want. Um, battle points, flags, and a lot of other stuff you can kind of play around with. Okay, and now this is the interesting tab here, uh, this party edit. So when you open up your um, save file, this will auto-populate with your current team, um, how many Pokemon you have in your in, in your team, and you can go to each Pokemon and actually edit certain things. You know, if you open this, you can pretty much edit the Pokemon, the items, IDs, levels, happiness, um, whether they have the Pokerus virus, you know, it gives you like double effort values. And you can actually go here and edit their nature. If you're looking for a particular nature, uh, normally you'd have to breed a lot to get the nature you want. Uh, here you can just get the one you want right now. And then the IVs here are hidden values in the game. And you can edit these to whatever you want, as well as the effort values. But again, if you're doing competitive battling, don't put 255 of everything. You know, you want to still get everything to total 510 to stay legitimate. Uh, contest stats, you can edit that for contest. Um, name, if you have a nickname for it, whatever. Um, some random demographic stuff. Um, whatever Pokeball used to catch it. And this is stuff you really don't have to worry about too much. Um, this thing here is uh, if you... that puts the Pokemon in eggs so that you can hatch them quickly. You know, if you if you want uh, contest stuff down here is like what classes of contest the Pokemon won, if any. Um, this is stuff that's you know whatever. Now, if you're doing again, if you're doing competitive stuff, which um, you know you want to look at this, make sure the ability is correct. You don't want to give like abilities that the Pokemon normally doesn't have. Um, and then same thing with the moves. You know, they'll show you their current moves, and then you can edit them to anything you want. However many PPs, and if you've used like three PP ups on the on the move. Um, again, if you're doing competitive battling, you probably want to at least stay legitimate with the moves. Um, I mean, again, I don't do any competitive battling, so anything any use of this is probably just to experiment around. Again, you can do that with any Pokemon here. Um, 
and actually um, if you edit the IVs, EVs, you want to make sure you go here and then click the All Max button to update all the values. Um, alternatively, you can just store it in a PC and take it out. That does the same thing. And location, where you are in the map, and then how many steps do you have left on your repels. And um, these tabs here, so if you go here, this is actually the same thing as the um, editing Pokemon. This is what Pokemon you have in your PC. And again, you can edit all the stats, um, all this moves, abilities, and all that. Um, this tab isn't there. It's like you can't click on it because the stats automatically update in the PC. So you can do edit the same stuff there. Um, and then you can go to different boxes, you know, choose whatever, whatever Pokemon. Um, accessories, these are, you know, the accessories for contests, so all the different accessories. And again, if you want to do contests, you want to have a wide variety of them. Um, again, you know, I would probably do separate videos on that, but again, this is where you can edit your however many accessories you have. Uh, Pokech is um, applications. So most of these you get in the game, so you really don't need to play around with this that much. Um, only the last maybe couple applications that you have to like put other games in there or do some trading thing to get them, but mostly not that important. Uh, seals, these are, you know, when you customize your Pokeballs, you know, this is where you, like, say, Sunny Shore City, you can buy um, seals, different types of seals. Uh, these are actually unowned seals, actually. Um, but yeah, that's just to decorate Pokeballs. Uh, poffins, you can edit what type of Poffin it is, uh, the strength of the Poffin, um, pretty much how much, how full it will make your Pokemon and all that. And then Pal Park, um, you know, when you do Pal Park, remember you have six Pokemon, up to six Pokemon. Uh, and then again, you can edit their stats, abilities, IVs, whatever. You can edit all that there. Okay, so that's actually just a quick run through of this um, PokeSafe program. Uh, this is, again, this is a Diamond Pearl version of the program. Um, platinum and Heart Gold Soul Silver, you may not see all the options here, but you can still at least do the basic editing of like Pokemon and items. Um, now, I don't use this in game, I use this um, only when I've beaten the game. I beat the game normally, I mean, it's not that hard to beat the games normally. Um, most, of, most of the time when I use this is just to experiment with stuff, um, events, and then um, Pokemon with different moves and just to see what it's how it works um, and all that but again this is all post game stuff so just for fun I don't do any competitive battling anyway um, this actually may also be helpful you know if you instead of raising Pokemon level 100 like many many Pokemon which can take a while you can just edit all your Pokemon like level 100 have all their moves uh, all their IVs EVs set accordingly so that, you know, it saves time, you know, for competitive battlers as well. Again, just make sure you keep all your, like, your moves and abilities legitimate. Um, okay, so that's basically uh, it for this quick tutorial. Um, again, FYI for the uh, mystery gifting, it's, uh, I think it's like everyone happy and uh, Wi-Fi connection. Again, you can look it up. Um, okay. So that's just it for this quick tutorial on Pokesave. Uh, hopefully this helped you out a little bit if you want to play around with it and uh, kind of get used to the controls. All right, I'll see you guys later.